there, guys and gals. Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Fortress Craft Evolved. We're now on day 27, I believe, and Casey and Jim Bob are standing in the corner for everything that they've done. I guess that's a punishment. I don't know. I don't know. When I was a kid, did anybody ever make you stand in the corner when you were a kid? I don't know. I never felt like it was much of a punishment at all. You know, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I, I had a very active imagination, so standing in the corner was like, oh, well, I can just pretend, you know, like... I'm in a spaceship or whatever, and maybe that's why I play so many video games. Maybe I stand, stood in the corner a lot. Now I'm just, I self-entertain really well. <laughs> anyway, so today, I we're in a bit of a rush. So I have been busy tearing apart the base, replacing all of the old coal lines with the high energy fuel lines and stuff to make all of this work in the future. And um, it's been a huge amount of work. Why is this not, oh, I see what I did. No, actually, I don't see what I did. Oh, that's what I did. Okay, so there, there, that makes more sense. All right, so, <laughs> whoops, sometimes, sometimes, see, this is a thing, like, and there's a little bit of a rush right now because, okay, so I've got two of the turbines up. I've got the center turbine, and then I've got this turbine. I know you can't really tell, because, but it is a turbine in there. There we go. So I've been trying to, I'm, I'm trying to find ways to hide them because they are kind of ugly, <laughs> but we'll talk about more about, more about that in a second priority high priority right now we've got a small amount of time before we're going to be attacked again it's not huge attacks we have two minutes two minutes for us to take down this defensive node this this node here is powering all of our defenses right now absolutely everything is coming from this node and i need to replace it with a turbine so i figured we'd do that together in kind of a rushy way and if i fail so i have two minutes two minutes on the clock folks <laughs> well two minutes before um the 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 bad guys will start their waves and then it takes about another minute for them to get here so i have about three minutes to get this high energy fuel line full of high energy fuel first of all let's just make sure that this all used to be enriched coal <laughs> and I, I've been switching it out because, of course, rich, enriched coal is so yesterday. <laughs> we don't use enriched coal anymore. We use high energy fuel. And uh, we want to make sure that this is, we want to make sure that this turbine is sitting level with the ground. Because I'm going to be putting a, one of the power storage block, uh, the higher power storage block twos, so like the big power storage block, I'm sorry, the power storage block four. Sorry, I'm, it's hard to keep track of everything and talk at the same, and, and work at the same time here. I'm doing my best though. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Pretty good job so far. All right, so, and I want to have it level with the ground so that I can put that power storage block on top, the big power storage block. Yeah, so I think that should be right. And now there's a couple thing to con things to consider here, but let's get that, uh, let's, first of all, let's get, hold on. Oh, right, I'm out of those. I'm out of dirt. I've been, I've been getting rid of all of my, uh, all of the uh, materials that I don't need. So I think that's good. So we've got one, two, hold on. Whoops. One, two, three. Three, good. Okay, so awesome. That should work. We need three by four, right? So let's fill this in. I, I know it's I know it's all different types of material, but I, at this point, I don't even care. I just need to get this in. All right, so that should be good. So one, two, three, four. Perfect. And uh, hmm, I'm wondering maybe we should have that come in on the side. <laughs> Not. I don't have enough time to be making you know a lot of uh, cosmetic decisions, but that's a, one little cosmetic decision I will make right now. And so, uh, hold on, one, two, three, oh yeah, so, have that coming in like so, like that. Perfect, this is the high energy fuel line, I suppose we can connect that now, perfect. Like so, that's coming in, and then let's get this, <laughs> let's get this thing in before uh, the uh, the bad guys arrive. I don't want, I don't want to lose a base for, you know, you know, something silly like this. I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, there really isn't any huge consequences to, you, to losing your base other than, I don't know, I don't know, it's 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 an ego hit, right? So let's get this in. So we need, uh, we're gonna put the front here. Actually, you know what? We're going to move that. Hmm. One, two, three, four. So let's do that right here. We're gonna put the front right here. There we go, like so. We use the build two function, which is fantastic. Thank you to everybody who recommended that. It is great. So, and then we're gonna go one, two. Oh, why didn't that work? Oh, that's weird. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes, that's weird. That's weird. Actually, very rarely does that. It's just bizarre that it did that right now. Interesting. So yeah, uh, maybe I just didn't hold that, didn't hold down control long enough. What? Oh, uh, we're, it's too small. Ah, okay. Ah, no, ow, no, ow. Oh, okay, rocks, I know I have rocks. There we go. Get out of here, okay. And we'll go back to the end here. And yeah, so it's gonna be shooting out of the side of the, of the base, but that's okay. You know what? I have to accept, you know, I, I'm okay. I'm okay with getting, uh, 
getting chewed up every once in a while because I, you know, put things in a funny place. And if I need to move it, I'll move it. But anyway, so let's put, uh, I've been using, I've been using mini hoppers because they seem to be working really well. Uh, perfect. So that's firing up. Excellent. Let's put on the large resin here. F3, F2. Uh, no, I never put it on my bar. Okay, it's a yellow one, and I remember I have a trouble. I have trouble seeing yellow for some reason. I don't know why. There we go. We're gonna stick that right on top. I want to be even with this. Yeah, that should be good. One, two, three. Hold on, that's not the right one. <laughs> Whoops. Um, seven. There we go. One, two, three. I was like, that looks way too good. Like so. Yeah, the build two function is fantastic for stuff like this. I hope, uh, I might have to move that, I don't know, we'll see here. Ooh, I might wanna have it one spot back. Let's see. Yep, yep, I totally do. Okay, so let's change that. I'm just gonna move it one spot back really quickly here. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, the last couple episodes have been about building power. And, oh no, I hope my, I hope my Falcor system just didn't just take that part. No, it didn't, okay, good. <laughs> so, we've been doing a lot of building together, which is actually kind of fun. I think we need to do that. Uh, I think we need to do a fair amount of building together in order to make this uh, fun. There we go. Okay, that looks great. That looks awesome. We're just gonna fill this in, and we gotta get we gotta get uh, the lasers working and uh, multiple lasers. We need to get the LPTs, the laser power transmitters, working, and we also need. Oh, I like the. Do I have any space grills? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's put some space grills here, and then we're gonna do. I think straight up is a laser. I don't know. Let's see here. Let's try it. I don't know if it'll connect if I do it straight up from here. I might have to. Oh no, so it's not gonna be even. Oh, I could, no, that's fine, that's fine. If it's not totally symmetrical, I can live with that. I, I'm totally okay with that because this is gonna be hidden anyway, sort of hidden. Uh, we'll keep we'll keep the space grill here, just cause, I don't know. It looks funny just sitting up on its side like that. If I put a space grill there, then it looks, I don't know, it looks like it makes more sense, sort of, I don't know, <laughs> maybe not. And we'll stick a laser on there, and uh, this one here. The big fat laser, and then we'll do two of, is it two of the little ones? I think we'll just, do, I think we did two of the little ones, that's fine. These two, perfect, and look at that, we have our defenses back up and running, and it's all operating via the high energy fuel. Now, you may be asking yourself, or maybe thinking to yourself, but Rob, but Rob, but Rob, wait. <laughs> you forgot something. You forgot about the empty canisters. So I do have a line running through, a second line running through the underneath, uh, underneath the base, they are coming from both sides all throughout the base now, connecting to this little area here. So this is kind of the joint. And then it goes all the way underneath. I think I showed you this before. It goes all the way underneath and then all the way back to our refineries, which I'm going to talk about in a minute because I made a whole bunch of changes to our refineries and how we're even getting the energy, high energy fuel here. I removed that line, that conveyor line, because, oh, how droll, how yesterday <laughs> to have just a regular conveyor line. I actually made it, uh, turned it into high energy or the... Uh, the matter movers, which we've never used before until now. So, I don't know, I thought that would be a good good time to use it. So let's get rid of this. And we need to connect that second line, which goes a little bit underneath. So let's go back underneath here so I can kind of figure out where we're gonna connect it. Ah, see, there we go. See, there's the, this is the line I'm talking about. Uh, this may be a little confusing for people that haven't really been keeping up with the episodes, but even if you have been, I can see it being a little confusing because, I don't know, like I don't show a lot of the building that I do, um, <laughs> for this game because it's it takes so long so it may be kind of hard to keep track of exactly what's going on here but uh, basically we need to get these uh we're gonna attach uh just any hopper doesn't even matter a mini hopper probably uh, no we'll use a the logistics hopper probably best because it's nice and fast and we're and we're gonna change that to oh great we gotta change it we're gonna change that to add only the other one needs to be removed only Need to get that changed right now. Uh, we're gonna walk through the screen. Don't ever do that. That's not good for you. <laughs> oh, it didn't seem to hurt us that time. That's weird. Uh, okay, where is it? Where is it attached to? Ah, there it is. This needs to be remove only. Perfect. 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 I, that actually was pretty flawless. That worked really well. Um, let's just be sure that we didn't get any. Yeah, we did have some empties in there. Whoops. Okay, that's fine. That is solved, and now the empties will be coming out on this side. Hopefully, let's rotate this so that we can see it. Add only, it should be coming out on this side and then go down the line, of course, and then meet at this joint right in front of that center turbine. Then I've got a kind of a, uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna move this because that doesn't need to be there. I'm gonna put the joint, I guess it doesn't really matter. 
I don't need to even a joint. By, by joint, I mean like a storage hopper. I don't think I even need to have a storage hopper connected to that. Yeah, so that they all just come down, get connected here, and uh, all of the empty canisters go down through the center of the base. Now, perfect. That Stage one is done. The defenses, we had to do that one fairly quickly because we are probably about to get attacked. Oh, right. Let's put our threat detector on so that we can kind of see what's going on again. Um... Uh, yeah, we are definitely under attack. I can hear them shooting. I can hear somebody shooting anyway. So let's get our threat detector. There it is. It's funny. Sometimes I can spot some things really quickly on this, and some things it takes me, I don't know, a while. <laughs> All right. So let's put that right in here again. Uh, we'll just move this. I like in the corner. That way I can kind of access it really quickly, and then we'll throw this, this laser. I'll probably reposition these lasers later to make it all look better. I'll make this all look better later. I kind of do the, the cosmetic stuff on my own. There we go! Yay! So we're have perfect timing. Look at this. They're just... Oh, yeah. So it just finished spawning all of the waves, and the bad guys are uh, going to be here any second if they haven't started arriving already. And I think I heard somebody shoot, so yeah, I think they're here already. Perfect! So that's great! So now this this one here, this node here, we're also going to convert. We might as well do that now. And then we're going to do some... The, I just, I cannot wait to see what research is going to look like. Like, how much, how fast research is even going to go. Like, it's going to go so fast when we get all of, we'll have all three of these turbines in here, all facing towards, like, with lasers facing, uh oh, uh, darn it. See what I just did there? I, uh, I hit my conveyor line. Uh, Sometimes, if, if you're not careful, you can you can hit because because distance has no meaning in this game. Um, you can destroy lines that are like infinitely far away from you. <laughs> yeah, let's get this node done, and then we'll get oh, and then we can finally we can get throw just so much power into that into that uh, research uh, into that laboratory. It's gonna be incredible. <laughs> and I want to do the turbines so that they're identical for either for both sides, which is uh, which is gonna be tricky because I don't remember exactly. What, how I lined this up. Oh, right. So I did five across right in the center and the intake on on the outside, right? Because I did I did the outtake facing the the lab so that it would look like it's all shooting at the lab. I don't know. I just, I just thought it'd look really cool when it's all fired up. It may not. I don't know. Um, and also, I think it's even... Yeah, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Right. So we need to remove this layer like so. And I believe... Like that, and we're gonna do a storage hopper like this, and the machine is gonna be right on top of this, right? Like that, perfect. And actually, we're gonna build this out a little bit. I will, like I said, I'll make this all look pretty um, on my own time, but I don't want to waste your guys' time, right? I have probably spent a good, I don't know, five hours playing today just to get ready for today. It's it's crazy how much time I spend playing this game just to get ready so that uh, you guys don't have to endure. Let's get, I had some enriched coal there. Let's get rid of that. Perfect. And I think we're ready. Let's put this down. Oh, I'm not ready. Uh oh. Oh no. I don't have, a, hold on. Did I, oh, I haven't finished building all of the turbine parts. <laughs> right, because I was waiting for crystal clocks because I had to go down and I, yeah, we, we burned through two crystal uh, mines. Actually, since, since the last time, since the last time I saw you guys, we burned through two entire crystal mines. Isn't that crazy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and that should put us back up to 36 perfect and then we can take those 36 and 36 of those blocks and put it into the turbines like so 36 there we got enough excellent becoming a master at this sort of not really <laughs> I think I'm getting better I don't know maybe so the intake is going to be on this side right so one two and you know how many times I mess this up like, confusing the two different types of blocks, like the intake and the rest of the, the unit. I don't know. All the time. Like, I always screw this up. All right. So, let's go three. And then we can use... Oh! Oops. The build two. If I stay on top of the block, then it works great. And sometimes I don't stay on top of the block. And it doesn't work at all. <laughs> nope. Like that. Perfect. Like so. Oh, that's so handy. That makes building these things so much faster. Excellent. Excellent. There. That way I don't have to fast forward. <laughs> There we go, and then we've got the, I'm going to do another storage block right here. Oh, this one needs to be removed only, and this one needs to be, i got to check the other one to make sure I got that right too. This is add only, and this one's going to be ejecting all of the old canisters and putting them on that same line, and actually this one can be just a logistics hopper. Oh, right, I got to convert. I have a lot of mini hoppers on me. <laughs> there, uh, There is no shortage of mini hoppers anymore. Uh, we'll just... Yeah, just one. That's fine. 
Perfect. One of those. And actually, just a mini hopper going in is probably better. Otherwise, we store way too much of the high energy fuel, right? So, and we need a down slope here. Uh, let's make sure this is move only, add only, and one down slope. I hope you're with me here, guys. <laughs> I hope you're with me with what I'm doing. And then, of course, I'm going to make it all look like the tower. Same kind of thing as I did on the other side. Kind of give. I, I love the chevrons. They, they're like they 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 yell to me. They say danger, Rob. Look out. Be careful. <laughs> Which is probably a really good thing because you know you know I will absolutely walk into uh, walk into the uh, the. Oh look at this. We got. Oh yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, great. We're gonna have to do a. We're gonna have to do a compare turntable here, and we're gonna have to do the line coming through here. So yeah, I pretty much had to replace most of the coal enrichment line. I mean, some of it was there and worked okay, but I had to change the way it was laid out. And I know for next time, if I ever play this game again, which I probably will after this playthrough. Um, I know I know what better to do, and I and I know not to go too crazy with coal enrichment, but I don't know, I really enjoyed building the big coal enrichment machine. I thought it was really cool, and it sort of proved a theory that we could do the whole thing with coal. So there we go, that's done, and let's put a laser on top of that. So that will produce 455 units of power per second, as per always. Um, laser, laser, there we go. But this laser is only going to generate 324 now. And we could we could put in uh, one of these. I only have one of these right now. One of these. I, I thought I had two crystals, but I th I think I only had the one, which is really unfortunate. If I had two, that would be perfect. So adding this crystal to this laser will turn this laser into a machine that produces like 400. And what was it? 460 something? I don't remember. So oh yeah, all we have to do is go in here and click on this. Perfect. The lens is there, and I don't have a lens for this one, as I said, but uh, that I will be resolving that as quickly as I possibly can. All right, so there we go. That is all built. Now, why? I need to make sure that we've got high energy fuel coming through here. Okay, so as you can see, I have changed things. What is this line? What is that? What is that magical, magical beam of light coming down? Well, that is a matter mover, my friends, and I'm going to show you how that works in a second. So high energy fuel should be coming through our mat my new matter mover system. So let's go take a look at the source here. So I've moved the refineries. As you can see, the refineries are now at the back of the base. I just I wanted to give us some space because I think we're going to be doing some other stuff in here probably. So I, I moved the refineries way back. Now, eventually, this is going to be a big power storage block for here as well. But I just didn't have the resources to build this quite yet. So in the meantime, I have this machine making high energy composite fuel. So here's the same machine that was building those those uh, those pipes. And then, of course, the empty empty fuel canisters. And that goes into this machine and that goes or that goes into this storage hopper, which feeds into this machine with the biomass, which produces the high energy fuel. The high energy fuel goes up through here, uh, splits up. Go, some of it goes into the uh, the generator here and the other half goes into this hopper which should shoot up through this matter mover. So the matter movers are really interesting. It's the first time I've had a chance to actually show you guys how these work. They're actually pretty simple. Um, the only thing about the matter movers is they require a lot of power to operate. So it's a little messy here. I'm gonna clean this up in a minute. But basically, you have to attach a matter mover to a storage hopper and some power. They require a lot of power. So you wanna have them connected to power and a storage hopper. And they will ship everything that's in this storage hopper down the line to another storage hopper. So everything, all the high energy fuel in this storage hopper should be shipped directly to this storage hopper. And then using a ton of power. Uh, let's see how much, does it actually tell me how much power? So it has, uh, matter mover can move up to 150 units per minute, but every uh, 130 items, it cost 8,332 power, a ton, but that doesn't matter because I've actually got a huge surplus of power and that way I don't have to have a second line going through the entire base. I've already got the line for the for the empty containers going out down through the bottom. I don't want, didn't want to have another line for the actual high energy fuel. So anyway, so that should go here. It should ship up here. So let's see if, the, is this hopper full? This one is full. Okay, weird. Okay, and notice that one is also attached to power. Oh, ah, look, we've got uh, a falling... A falling star there. Not really a falling star. It's a canister. Uh, we should go collect that. Yeah, let's go do it. <laughs> We're probably running low on time already, but, you know, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We need to go get this because we are really low on research points, and that is something. And I, I don't know if there, you can ever have anything really cool in these. I don't know. All I've ever found in these is research, like little research things that I think you can research. I don't know. I haven't actually tried it yet. Maybe. Oh, no. No, really? Uh, 
Not a problem. Not a problem. We can get up there. So I've noticed a little bit of a trend. So I don't know if you guys can see the overmind, but there's an overmind here. The big, the big, the big tentacle thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's really creepy and yeah always kills me. Um, yeah It seems like these canisters always seem to land sort of close to where the overmines are I don't know if there's anything to that. Maybe they suck they shoot them down or something I don't know. So yeah more of these little research things. Yeah research parts. I have no idea I'm assuming that we just throw that into the uh Oh, Jesus, <laughs> that I'm trapped in here. Um, I assume that we just throw that into the research machine. I, I think. I, I guess we're going to have to try that. I think I have three or four of them. I'm not sure. Not that many because I haven't been chasing the canisters all that much. But anyway, see you guys in a second. Oh. Oh. Look what I found. Like two seconds from. Oh, uh, more organics. Is that organics? Organic rock. And uh, look at this. Oh, see, soft resin. So remember I was saying like I, I found the other day, like I just found soft resin just lying around. I don't know if this stuff, whoa, look at this. What? It looks like it's maybe spreading, eh? And why is that block red? What the heck is going on? Why is the block red? That's weird. What is this? Hold on, can I, re can I study this? No, it's just rough hewn rock, but why is it red? What's going on? Is, is that a bug, I wonder? I don't know, that's really weird. Hold on, let's jump. Ah, no, jump, nope. That didn't work very well. Hold on, let's go back here. Let's just, uh, let's just break this down here. Oh, there's another one right here. Why is it red? Is it, is it, hold on. Um, it's just rough hewn rock, but why was it red? That's really bizarre. Okay, I'll, I'll meet you guys back at base. Just, uh, interesting. There was rough hewn rock that's red. Why? That's bizarre. All right. <laughs> See you in a sec. Okay, so it turns out, yeah, these, these hoppers are actually empty. This one's empty. All of these are empty, and I don't know why. I can't figure out why this isn't working. It doesn't make any sense. So we've got, we've got, we've got empty fuel canisters. This is remove only. We've got uh, biomass. This is remove only. We've got enough power in our refinery. We've got 3,000 power, if you notice there. And we've got uh, this thing uh, that's ready to take. It set as add and remove. It could be add, but it doesn't really matter. And then, of course, it's connected with a... A turntable. I wonder if the turntable's broken. Because it, there's no reason why the, the, this is full. It's full of high energy fuel, but these are empty. It doesn't make any sense. So I bet you that this is a bug. So let's just test this out. So we're going to remove this turntable. Let's rebuild it. Oh, no. Why? Why would it do that? Oh, wait. Got it. I understand now. Okay. So, the high, sorry, the, the turntable gets confused when it just, I don't know, it's confused here. It's really confused. It's not working. So, it's not actually taking stuff out of, and I, I think I've had this issue before where you can't attach a turntable directly to a storage hopper sometimes. It just doesn't work. So, for some reason, this isn't working. It doesn't really matter. What we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to fix this uh, kind of down and dirty, do something like, I don't know, we're going to attach a... Right, so that should take it from there, put it in here. So the priority is, of course, actually I like this better anyway, the priority is to make sure that we always have fuel for the turbine and then whatever's left over, because this this, this turbine is also powering the refinery. If the refinery is not working, we're not actually producing any more high energy fuel. So I like this better, this works better. I don't know why the turntable doesn't work like that though. Anyway, so priority, this has fuel, and then once this has fuel, then it goes into the matter mover. The matter mover ships it to the next storage hopper, which ships it to the next storage hopper, which is all the way over here. So we have one, two, three matter movers to make this happen. And it just, it saves us a lot of, I mean, think about it, the amount of resources it's saving. It's just, it costs a lot of energy to make that happen. Now, once all of these, this system is full up, this line is full up, all of these storage hoppers are full up, it's not actually going to be that bad, actually, in terms of power usage. But for a while, it's going gonna, it's gonna to use a lot of power. But yeah, now we actually have high energy fuel going down the line. Perfect. And it's going to fuel all of these and our... And then, of course, our lab. Our lab is... Ah, there we go. See, we've got fuel going into there. We've got fuel going into there. We've got fuel going into here. Now, shall we see how much power we can pump into this lab? I'm super excited. So let's... Oh, missile defense. That was the last one we were working on. So we have... We can collect that research. What are we going to work on next? Ha ha ha. I don't know. What's advanced crystal dynamics? Um, it requires 200 crystals. Oh! Do I have 200 crystals on me? Um, I don't know. Hold on. Let's just see here. I'm sure I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so let's 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 do some research on crystals. Let's remove. We had some resin in there still. Let's throw another hundred crystals in there, and let's do some research. This thing is going to just. Oh my God. So let's let's calculate this. So we've got 480 power going on this side. 
we've got, uh, well, we could, we could actually beef this one up because even though we don't have the, uh, um, uh, hold on, let's just make a little land bridge here for me right now. Uh, even though we don't have the crystal in here, we could, we could add some, just, you know, do this old school, add a couple of, uh, blue lasers in here, or even, uh, hold on, let's build, let's build, we'll just build, you know, just so we max it out. We're gonna build one more pink laser, just so that we have maximum power going into this, uh, research lab. Oh man, we're out of... Ah, uh, we're out of titanium. Hold on. I probably have some in here. Just give me a sec. There we go. <laughs> Much better. Yay! I've got to fix these floors, too. It's driving me crazy already. All right, so let's throw another pink laser on here. Perfect. Oh, I didn't actually build it yet. <laughs> I'm always on step 20 when I should be on step 5. There we go. Yay! Put that... Hold on, right here, excellent. So now we've got maximum power, so 455 units of power per second coming from this from this turbine, 455 units of power per second coming from this turbine, but not quite 455 coming from this turbine. Let's fix that. Uh, let's do, can we build another one of those lasers? I'm sure we can, I'm sure we can now. I'm sure we've got more than enough. No, we're still short. We're, wow, those things use so much titanium, that's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna need them in the end, so it doesn't really matter. I'm sure we've got some more kicking around here. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Another power storage Definitely. laser. It would it de or power uh, laser power transmitter. But on the bright side, once we get those uh, more of those crystals, we won't have to use as many of these lasers. I think that's going to be pretty amazing. Now, I just want to. Normally, I don't think I would have the two lasers on here anyway because we're also trying to power um, all of our research stuff going on down here. So let's fire this up and see much power this thing. I, I wonder if we'll ever get to a maximum a maximum. Uh, saturation of power going into that laboratory like uh, is there ever a point I, I mean somebody was saying that there was there used to be a maximum and then it got fixed with the with the patch so now it can actually take a whole lot more plus we've have the uh, the solar on top here so we've got oh, there's gonna be a ton of power hold on let's let's do this let's fire it up let's fire it up advanced crystal dynamics away we go start project dun, 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 dun. there we go look at it oh my god okay we are uh, so during the day we're gonna have a little bit a little bit more going in because of the solar power but <laughs> with so we've got well over a thousand like probably closer to closer to 1500 almost 1500 power per second going into this laboratory and we still haven't maxed it out and look at how look at how fast it's it's still it's going really really fast but we are going to be using like honestly our thread is going to be through the freaking roof so we're going to let that just build up wow so we still we're still not maxing out the lab i wonder what it's going to be like during the day <laughs> all right guys you know what I, i'm going to do some cleaning up around here and try and make things look really nice but i'm really glad we were able to build some of this stuff together and i was way i'm really glad you're able to see the matter movers yeah so it's putting the high energy fuel down into the storage hopper and then it's going to go all the way through the line it should go fast enough i mean every single piece of high energy fuel takes it uh you know fires up and it runs for like a, what a minute maybe even more than that maybe even long i think maybe it's like a few minutes so we only need one piece of high energy fuel every three minutes or something or every two minutes per turbine in order to keep this running and we only have one two three four turbines so that's four every three minutes so the matter movers are working they're going to work fast enough as a matter of fact i probably don't need these big storage hoppers it's probably overkill i could probably get away with just logistics hoppers up here but anyway, I, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. This was a lot of fun. I spent a lot of time putting this all together. Oh, and look at, oh, yes. And they're, oh, I love it. I love how they're all just, everything's shooting at the tower, in the center tower, including, yeah, I can't wait this until I've got this all looking pretty. Oh, my God, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. <laughs> so much power. So much power. And I will let you know how much threat we've produced um, next time. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm loving this game. I'm spending way too much time playing it. <laughs> My friends and family are concerned, actually. <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll talk to you later. Take care.